skin a buck and run a trot line and a country boy can survive country folks can survive Today we're going to be working on a project. Uh, we need to uh, create some new lights, lighting fixtures for the aquaponics uh, basement setup, and uh, just have uh, a few parts we picked up from the uh, local Home Depot here. Show you what we've got. We've got a couple. Of like fixtures, um, some wiring to hang the uh, light fixtures from after we create them, uh, nuts, some clamps for the wiring to hold our uh, electrical wiring for each fixture, and uh, we need some tin snips to cut. The tin, which we will be using, this piping. Right, these cut edges, they are uh, very sharp. Uh, so what I've decided to do, we're going to put some gloves on. I've got a set of uh, pliers. And uh, what I'm going to do is take this edge and bend it back in on itself uh, to make a nice smooth uh, exterior so uh, if it's bumping up against somebody's skin they won't get nicked up or cut up so we'll try that. All, right. all our uh, edges are turned down now nice and smooth edges all the way around you can't, uh, can't nick yourself or cut yourself there anymore. Uh, next step is we're going to cut uh, we're going to drill a few holes uh, for the rods to go into uh, and uh, just going to put a little something down to make sure that we don't uh, go through the table here, but uh, I'm not going to space it all the way to the end. I'm going to bring it in about an uh, inch and a half. So here we go. Doesn't take much. Just make sure to smooth that hole out there. And I'm going to go to the same exact place on the other side. Which is, uh, I've got it more just on the inside of the lip to help me uh, know I'm in the right place there. And we'll just do that, uh, repeat that for uh, each end, and uh, then we'll go and thread our rods through. So. Alright, as you can see, um, we've uh, got the first thread in, the threaded rod, I mean, and um, you just need a uh, nut on the inside, a uh, nut on the outside, uh, run the rod through. Uh, you'll put another nut on the inside here and one on the outside and that will lock it into place so uh, it uh, won't move around, doesn't flex. Well, uh, not much once we uh, get everything mounted inside, but uh, we'll get the other end done here and um, then uh, this one will be ready for uh, putting the light fixture uh, once we find our center point. First fixture just about done here. Uh, rods run through uh, nice and tight here. Uh, one of the bottom is done now. And uh, you can see it's. Uh, here, I'll lay it down. There's your uh, basic shape. Nice and uh, concave there. But, uh, this should. Uh, work perfectly for uh, a light fixture and uh, this is pretty much uh, the um, ideal that came from uh, Slee Stacks uh, channel so uh, if you want some more ideas on making light fixtures uh, he's got some pretty good ideas there uh, I've only made uh, a couple changes and um, I could not find the type of fixtures that uh, you just drill a hole through and drop down the center. Uh, I could not find any of those at Lowe's, Home Depot, local hardware store. Uh, 
nobody carried them. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to improvise and uh, we're going to use uh, these fixtures, which are just a plastic fixture. And I'm going to put um, a two by four right in the center and uh, then just drill it from the back side of uh, the light fixture and that'll secure it and then we'll attach this piece here to the 2x4. After a few minutes of thinking, uh, instead of using a piece of 2x4, I uh, found these tins. They, uh, some watches I bought in the past, uh, just sitting around collecting dust in a closet and thought they would make a perfect mount. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna mount the fixture inside uh, and then we will uh, attach this um, tin to the inside uh, just just inside like this here so uh, just some self tapping screws through the top and then uh, I think that'll actually give us a little bit of uh, protection for the fixture itself and, uh, and the wiring coming in and then I'll just uh, drill a hole in the back to have the wiring come inside and then out the top of the uh, um, reflector. So we're going to give this a try and uh, see how it comes out. But um, just uh, instead of using a piece of 2x4 to attach the uh, um, piece to, uh, we'll just use uh, the tin instead. Uh, self tapping screws didn't seem to hold that too well, so. Uh, just found uh, some small um, nut and bolt to uh, run through there and uh, they hold the fixture uh, nice and secure inside so we'll um, we'll use this and I'm gonna put some more through the top and then through the top of the uh, the fixture itself so uh, once we get these bolted together we'll uh, toss our lights in wire them up and see what we get all right, as you can see, uh, we've uh, managed to get the uh, light fixture uh, secured, bolted in here, and uh, it's not going anywhere. So we used uh, five five bolts and nuts uh, through there. So it is uh, it is quite secure. <laughs> so I am not worried about that uh, that light coming off. It's probably a little overkill, but uh, I wanted it nice and secure. So it's. Uh, I uh, don't have to worry about it now. Anyway, uh, next step will be to uh, uh, drill some holes uh, in the tops um, and we're going to run some wire to hang it with and we'll get the light bulb which is going to be this 300 watt uh, equivalent. It's actually 65 watt CFL. Um, puts out uh, uh, let's see, 3,900 lumens, and uh, this is a, if I remember correctly, it was a 2,700 uh, Kelvin um, colored bulb there. Here's a quick shot with the uh, bulb installed, uh, so you can get an idea of how big that, uh, that is about a three foot uh, light fixture so that bulb is qu quite large there's my uh, my hand so you can get a uh, comparison <laughs> there so it's a really really large bulb but uh, that thing should put out uh, a lot more light than what uh, we were getting uh, from the four foot long um, fluorescent tube so uh, we'll have two of these actually installed after tonight so Hopefully things will start growing a little bit faster and putting out a little bit of fruit. All right, here's the first test. Uh, we've got her uh, all hooked up, wired up, and we're gonna plug it in and see what happens. Whew. Yeah, I don't know how well you can tell or how bright you can tell that is. But uh, wow, that is that is a light. This will uh, definitely help me out uh, in my basement aquaponics. 